hey guys final destination here this video is just going to be about the day i was named youth poet ambassador for baltimore city 2019 so i have both rounds of performances and this is just my makeup from earlier that day so yeah Ooh, you know i never understood why hood niggas watch scary movies but a hood feel like halloween time Feels like Sleepy Hollow hollows me out the way I've seen angel face boys turn ghoul and goblin. I've seen demons in the costume of protection. I've seen the hoods like our souls and turn into vampire. Sometimes it scares me how they can bear barren crosses. Be strong enough to symbolize their own kryptonite. And sometimes drug dealers be my superhero. Seem godly. Make me wonder if that's why they start turning bodies, holy ghost, paint concrete bread. Make every day day to day to make me wonder if that's what it means to be black, to have your pain turn pretty. Like ain't that why we've seen black bodies hung like decoration? Why I've seen niggas lit up like jack o -lanterns? Why black culture can turn into like, <laughs> totally a coach or like it's totally not black face. While a white girl take my arm and joy to cover her cookies and cream, they call me a sour patch girl. Ask why black women are so mad, so bitter, so bland. So I bring up Sandra, bring up Corinne, bring up every time a white officer pulled over someone I love for, you know, being black. Bring up the time a white officer told seven-year-old me that I look suspicious told me go home, told me stop crying, told me don't you know you old enough to go to jail and white girl go silent. I tell her I'm not religious, but in the presence of red and blue lights, I pray that I won't soon see a white one pray that if the only way I can find God is in the barrel of white officer's gun, then I would rather live in sin. I ask her if she's ever been afraid of the police, does she think that her skin makes her a deadly weapon? Does she think they will always protect and serve? I ask her if she thinks being black in America is more trick or treat. Right. Right. Woo! Let's go, Destiny! <laughs> My father makes himself go, says himself good at seasons. Let's his cold fronts meet his warm fronts. Leaves me to be and weather the storm. Believes he is raised in hell. Blesses me with fire and sees me a burning bush. A manifestation of himself. Sees my tears like the Red Sea. Parts them as passageways for his trauma and the devil may care my father doesn't. For the devil has no place in this church. I mean this home or maybe this spirit. So my father carries on leaving me to carry his sins, and I sometimes agree that my father is a god. The only way I can understand myself being crucified, while I'm constantly burned at the stake, and I'm usually burned by his mistakes, see, I often see my father like the earth. The way he makes mountains out of his mold from the body and lets himself avalanche, leaves me in the rubble, leaves me holy in the vow and maybe. That's why I'm never whole around him. See, my father has a spine like a roadway. Says he can manage the curves. Says there's no need in whining about the winding path his body has become, says here. Sciatica and slip discs are more like speed bumps than stoplights. My mother tells me I'm not an architect. Not here to fix his faulty construction, but I remind her that Jesus was a carpenter. And if he can find a way to walk on water, then maybe. I can find a way to make my father love his daughters on the first day. I build hope and watch my home be destructed and I wept like Jesus. And in a way, I realized I am like Jesus, so I asked my God, why had he forsaken me? And in a way, I didn't know whether I should praise him for creating me or rebuke him for never raising me. See, I just wanted to be his Lazarus, but my father knows himself in the king temple. A house soon to be divided knows that soon he will no longer stand. 
My father knows the Israelites walked 40 years through the desert, but if the road to being a father will take his last 40 steps, see, that is not a trip that he can chance. For my father is a circle of a man, believing that all begins and will end with him. Soon my father will not be able to walk. Either way, I don't think he wanted to step in the right direction, so today I've become an atheist. Realizing I can no longer praise a man whose praise really belong only to himself. Could no longer care for a man who would care more about himself than his daughter. See, I am not that kind of savior. <laughs> this video this is just a picture of me with the other two the first place and third place winner if you want to see more videos like this of me performing or how i write let me know in the comments below